What's up everybody, Skymaster Flex here, and welcome to the second episode of In The Corner, where we're going to be talking about a couple different things that were going on this week. Uh, we're going to get into what we were doing about the branding that we were talking about in the last episode, and one of the other most important things that you guys got to do as streamers, and that is to always look to be different. All right, so let's look at the first thing. So as you guys probably touched upon in the first episode, uh, we looked at why it's important to kind of establish yourself as like a brand. So I don't know if a lot of you guys take notice to this, but Scarmaster Flex is, of course, myself. But in real, in reality, I am the brand. And the reason why you want to be your own brand is because you want to make it as personable as you possibly can. You want it to be authentic and you want people to kind of resonate with it. If they see it as kind of like a persona that doesn't really exist, it only re exists within like a fantasious world, then I mean, it's okay. But I mean, there's more of a connection when you make it more personable. And most importantly, if you're able to establish yourself as the brand. So for example, you know, if you want to go to some networking events and you want to grow yourself and you want to do it at the grassroots level and you want to establish uh, your Twitch channel, you can't just go up to somebody and be like, hey, I'm a streamer. Some people will just go, hey man, that's cool. But that's to the extent that you're gonna get. If you walk in there with a presence and you walk in there, say for example, with a t-shirt and you establish yourself and you, know, you create kind of a point of interest and people will look at you and go, hey, that's a cool t-shirt, man. Where'd you get it from? Oh, by the way, and then you would start the conversation off, introduce yourself, tell them that you are the brand. That will allow you to kind of resonate a little bit better with people. Now, be careful when you're branding because you're trying to sell yourself, but you're not trying to overdo it. So what I would want to do is in this sort of situation, if I'm talking to somebody, I just want to come across as myself. Remember how we talked about in the last video, don't be fake. And I said, I hate that. Well, I was, I'm serious because if you present yourself to everybody and that you you know come in contact with whether it be professional people people who want to invest with you people who want to partner with you people who want to be part of your entity uh you have to come across as professional as you possibly can without overdoing it people will recognize that it's overkill and you will bore the living crap out of them and you don't want to do that so one of the most important things that you guys have to understand when you're branding you're branding as yourself, you're being authentic, and you're showing people why you're so freaking awesome. And that, my friends, will get you more viewers, more followers, and most importantly, it'll help your brand start growing within your communities. Okay, so when we're kind of looking at the next step on becoming an even stronger streamer, you have to get connected on different networks within different social medias. So you guys should, probably should be establishing like a Facebook page, a YouTube page, get connected on Discord, and even talk to your friends that are you play games with, whether it be on Steam or anything like that. Tell them like, hey dude, you know, I got a Twitch channel. You should definitely come and check me out sometime. But what you want to do is you want to kind of create it within a couple days, right? So you got to say, hey, man, listen, this is what's going on in a couple days. We're going to have a pretty decent attendance. You know, you should definitely check it out. At first, when you start doing this, guys, you're going to notice that it's not going to work so well. And the reason why this is, is because you're still establishing yourself as a streamer. You're still growing and you're still learning. If you're trying to expect that 100 people are going to come to your channel when you're telling your friends about it, it's not going to happen. Now, this is the hardest part. When you're trying to establish yourself from the very beginning, it can be very discouraging. And that's okay. But what you have to understand is that it's not about starting. That's the hardest part, I would say. But it's about maintaining the consistency to be able to show that you are to be respected and to be the best that you can be. Again, guys, we talked about 
consistency in the last video as well you want people to come and see you at regular times because that's when they're going to be expecting you you don't want someone to come and see you when you're streaming on like a saturday at four o'clock in the morning probably they're going to be sleeping and you know you also have to kind of use that as an opportunity if you're going to do something like that you shouldn't really be advertising it i mean yeah you could but if the people that you're advertising to are in the same time zone as you and you're up at four in the morning and you're streaming they're probably not going to be watching you you might be able to get people on the western side of europe east europe eastern europe sorry i kind of started there but the point is guys you know if you're gonna do like some spontaneous stuff like that i wouldn't really advertise it i would use that more as an opportunity to kind of grow and to connect with people in different parts of the world so that if you ever do that again they can expect that you're on and you're doing like a spontaneous stream and you know when you're talking to those people you want to kind of establish yourself a little bit more with that crowd so then you can kind of exhaust a different market um and i know we kind of talked about that in one of the other videos Now, one of the other things we got to talk about as well, guys, is we know we talked about the persona, about branding and everything, but I kind of made a blog post about this as well. You have to make sure you're able to distinguish the self by being yourself. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's define the self. So the self is like an entity that we actually create in a, in a realm of realism. For those of you guys that don't really understand what I'm saying, let me break it down for you. If you go out and you're with your friends and you meet let's say you meet a girl you meet a new boy are you gonna be yourself probably not you're probably gonna be the type of person that might be a little standoffish you might be shy you might not give them a much much attention even though they're trying to establish a connection with you the reason why this is is you're creating a self now think about that we have the power to do that right so if we have the power to do that and we can stand uh, be standoffish and be negative and things like that isn't there a chance we could possibly turn that into a positive? Like we can establish something of being the self, going out in public, uh, feeling that pressure, you know, being able to establish your, your new sort of image to people. Um, and what you want to do, guys, is you want to try and figure out a formula that works for you that's going to say or that's going to establish, hey, I'm this person to this group of people, but I want to be myself. How do I do that? Well, what you have to identify first is what are your strong traits? Like, what are you really good at? What do you, what really gets you going? What really gets you motivated, right? I kind of call it, a, I call it a quirk. I call it like kind of being a nerd within yourself. People like people who are nerdy, believe it or not. And there, that is just a stereotype. And I want to kind of just dispel that right now. Being a nerd is a stereotype. And you know what? And if someone tells you differently, then they clearly don't know what they're talking about. But what I will say, getting back to what we were talking about, is the fact that when you combine these two entities, you establish being yourself within the self. In other words, what I did, because I'm eccentric, because I love talking to people, I established myself as Scarmaster Flex, and I am the brand, and I am the self, and I am the entire entity. Now, you might think like, okay, well, why do you want to do this? Well, the reason you want to do this is because people want to see the same person. They want to see consistency. If they don't see consistency, unless there's like a different sort of, um, how do you call it? If there's a different sort of objective that you're trying to reach with your persona, that's totally cool. But most importantly, guys, keeping a strong level of consistency is the most important thing. All right, so we've talked about a couple different things. We talked a little bit more about the branding and establishing yourself within going to, say, meetups and events and networking and whatnot. We also talked about the importance of, you know, establishing the self and kind of, uh, again, you're kind of just establishing yourself and being yourself and, again, promoting that instead of just being something that, is, you know, that comes off as very sort of standoffish or fake and you don't want to be doing stuff like that. And also, guys, being able to try out different times and try out different things when you're streaming and to also kind of talk to your friends on different networks. We talked about Facebook. We talked about the importance of Twitter, YouTube, and, you know, the, the, that it's going to be an uphill battle. You know what I mean? So 
what you guys have to remember too is you have to keep consistency you just got to keep positive you just got to keep motivated i know it's not i know it's not the easiest thing because i know a lot of you guys that are watching this video right now you guys are trying to do this and you're not seeing results right away i will tell you instant gratification if that's what you're expecting it's going to kill you and i'm sorry that that might seem a little bit uh harsh to say but that is the reality of the situation so what you would want to do guys is you want to make sure that you are being as authentic and as true and as consistent as you possibly can understand that life will get in the way and that's totally cool it happens to the best of us too but do not give up that's the most important thing all right guys if you liked this video please make sure you like uh please make sure you like it and uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you guys like the YouTube, vi I mean the YouTube videos that are going on inside of the Flex Stream and inside of the YouTube channel, I call it the Flex Stream too, like my Twitch. <laughs> you guys can also subscribe to the channel. Anything else, really? You guys can also check me out on Facebook, Twitter. I also have a Snapchat, and I have just released a blog. If you guys ever want to check me out on Twitch, streaming Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius, Final Fantasy 14, Dota 2, any of those cool games, tactics as well, hit me up on my uh, Twitch page twitch.tv forward slash scarmasterflex again guys thank you so much for being here we will be bringing you another episode of in the corner next week have a great weekend and we'll see you guys when we see you guys flex is flex and for all you guys let's give you guys a double flex all right we'll see you later flex out